I'm Mark, this is Billy, and this is our bus, Topo Bus. It's a 28-foot international, and we've been living in her for about a year now. Uh, come on inside, check it out. So this is uh, the driver area. We put in a swivel seat. Uh, I think it's a best top seat you can buy off of any four-wheel drive magazine store. Uh, we kind of built this custom dash area, uh, iPad for navigation, music, movies, whatever, which can be pushed up to the TV. Uh, we actually reinforced the structure of the bus with some angle iron, welded in a, a massive structure back there that we can mount to. We were, were going to make sure that it wasn't going to fall off the wall when we're driving down these crazy dirt roads we're always on. Uh, these are just uh, some home theater speakers that we mounted in the wall. And from there, if you look into this cabinet, it's just all of our brains for the internet operation. So we've got a Wii Boost and a Wi-Fi Ranger, uh, both can, the Wi-Fi Ranger obviously pulls uh, Wi-Fi signal from people that have internet and the Wii Boost boosts our cell phone signal, which comes into here. And that goes into our MoFi modem. We're using an AT&T uh, carrier card. So anywhere we have good AT&T signal, we have good internet. All right, so moving back, we have a full-size couch. I believe it's roughly a little over six feet long. Uh, it pulls out this way. It makes a full-size bed for when guests come over. Uh, underneath is extra storage for extra food, hard drives, whatever. Uh, we put in this massive RV window to let in a little more light and improve the views. So this is our work area. Uh, it's a, a piece of cherry wood that my dad had saved from Tennessee. Uh, we chainsaw milled that up, epoxied it, and created a desk space. So I work here every day. My wife, Billy, works here. Uh, I edit video for a living and she does things with finance. <laughs> and uh, we also created this little pullout slide for extra paperwork and whatever area when you're working every day. So in this cabinet, uh, I have a 60 terabyte server that I keep a lot of footage on. I'm always editing like TV shows and stuff, so I have to have a pretty big library of stuff to work off of. And extra hard drives, paperwork, monitors, cables, whatever goes in there. So our wood stove is a tiny wood stove. It's our primary heat source for the bus. Um, in wintertime, we try to mostly stay in mild to cool areas, so nothing too crazy. But uh, we get plenty of heat off of that. Obviously, we, we did spray foam insulation in all the walls and the ceiling. So once it gets warm, it stays pretty warm for a while. Uh, this is just a piece of granite we put under it. And we created our um, heat shields with just some extra leftover metal that we used when we did the roof raise. Uh, wood storage underneath, and then just another drawer where we store extra office supplies or whatever under there. So that's the heating. So we were living in Colorado and we decided Maybe we want to try to live on the road for a week, two weeks, a month at a time. Uh, we had a Land Cruiser with a rooftop tent and that was cool, but it wasn't super comfy to be out a long time and it was really hard for us to work on the road. So we explored different options like converting an ambulance, a van, and we settled on a school bus uh, just because they're super safe, very well built, you can buy them really cheap and then you can dump as much money as you want into it to make it your own. Yeah. Uh, it's been super comfortable for us. We're able to work on the road and kind of the whole purpose behind doing everything we're doing was just to get rid of all our debt, save up tons of money and become financially independent. And maybe one day in the next couple of years, we won't be working anymore. <laughs> Don't tell my boss that. Low and high across the country. We knew we wanted this engine. We knew we wanted this size and we kept searching and searching until we found it maybe 30 minutes from where we lived. Okay, so this is our kitchen and we absolutely love to cook. So we pretty much cook all three meals in this every single day. So we have a big um, three burner stove and then the oven, um, really efficient on gas. So very impressed with that. Um, we have the full kitchen sink and then we also have a filter system. So we drink directly our water out of our filter system here. Um, lots of cabinet space. So we actually 
my husband's dad is an incredible talented woodworker so we drove the bus all the way down to florida from colorado so that he can help install these cabinets and as you can tell with the curve it's a little bit complicated because even though this one has a curve here curve here they're both completely different so he helped install all of these um, we have the dovetail and the really cool part is that they're all self-closing so that's really nice and that actually kind of helps with the movement when we're driving um, we also have some magnets installed on some of them like this one um, down here is where we we cook off of cast iron so we have some pretty heavy duty um, magnets so it stays in uh, he built us a huge pantry so we do lots of great storage in there um, we have our trash can and recycling back there um, some more storage I don't know if you can see it um, but we have our mixer instapot all of our pots and pans in there and then up here this top cabinet is all of our plates and cups um, on hydraulics so that's cool that it stays open nothing breakable so we have no breakable <laughs> plates bowls cups over here more hydraulics to keep it open a little bit extra storage uh, we have a great 12 volt refrigerator so it's huge inside it actually has an off-grid setting so but it's been pretty efficient so far for us um, and then pretty big size freezer too so under this cabinet we have extra storage um, paper towels cleaning supplies but we have our water heater as well as our water filtration and then our pump for our shower and water cooking on the bus has been pretty simple I feel like um, I like to research well I follow a lot of food bloggers too and I will see their recipe and if it's under 30 minutes golden I do it um, but of course we kind of we'll buy like you know jar marinara so that cuts up cuts down on space um, simple items just to kind of make it quick and easier uh, we brought our pizza so we love doing pizza nights so we actually brought our pizza oven with us on the bus so we'll do especially if we have friends over I'll make the pizza dough and we just have a pizza night and that's really fun so with our roof rays we have all this extra headroom and we're pretty tall I'm 5'8 he's over six foot so we're able to put a step here which underneath here is our 80 gallon water tank so instead of trying to find a creative spot to put it we just put it right here built over it and then here is our bathroom so we have composting toilet um, and then here's our shower which I discussed how we had the step up right here earlier and the cool thing about it is that we were able to step down into the shower so plenty of headspace to get all good and clean and then over here we have just a little bit of a vanity so it's really nice to just be able to wash your hands in this sink especially if there's dishes in that one and then we were able to use more of the cherry wood on top of it but we just have a little extra storage down there our towels bathroom appliances and then just like kind of a little his and her drawer here is our closet so Mark kind of customized it to where my space over here, his space over here, a little spot with shoes, but we have a lot of stuff back underneath there too. But we each have a basket and then we have our hamper. And honestly, I keep giving away clothes to friends more and more often, especially with the whole pandemic last year and just not going out and always working from home. You really don't need that many clothes. <laughs> So we have our closet there and on top of that we have two big drawers right here so mark has the top drawer and i have the bottom drawer and then coming into here so we have a queen size memory foam mattress with the mini split um, and then we also have a little tv that just kind of smart tv that pulls out we have a little bit of storage we have a shelf behind the bed so we just kind of keep um just our nighttime, my lotions and books and extra stuff like that. And then my favorite part is that this is how, another way we can get onto the rooftop deck.
So we finished all the exterior work, the rooftop deck, the solar and everything in Colorado. And we wanted to finish out the interior. And my dad has a cabinet shop in Florida. So we had to drive to Florida to work on the inside. Uh, we were able to get everything done there, which was super cool. So we drove from Colorado to Florida, finished the bus, and then we had to get from Florida all the way back out to California because I had a job starting and we had 10 days to get there. So on the way, we saw some family here and there, uh, and then we started pushing it uh, lots of miles, lots of, lots of hours, and we were driving through Texas real late one night, and uh, we're probably, our average cruising speed is 60, 65. We're not smoking it by any <laughs> means, but uh, out of nowhere, this giant refrigerator was sitting in the middle of the interstate, and we nailed it. <laughs> Unfortunately, the fridge didn't make it, the bus is fine. With just a little scratch. Yeah. So if anyone is considering a tough vehicle for living in, a uh, school bus is very tough because yeah. it takes out fridges. It's a big metal tube built to protect children, so it's pretty safe. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the best side of the bus, the photogenic side. Uh, back in the back, we have a shore power connection. This is where we feel fresh. And then we have a custom storage we built here. So one mistake we kind of made during this build was we realized last minute we wanted to put a range hood over our stove. And so we ended up having to cut through all of our spray foam, all the walls and everything to get that thing put in. So the other thing we didn't realize was it was really high off the ground. And every time we want to open or close it, I had to put Billy on my shoulders. She has to reach up there and open the thing. So when we move down the road, we close it. When we stop, we open it. So this is the garage, and with the garage is where we stored all of our power uh, equipment. So we have a Victron uh, MultiPlus with charge controller wired up in 24 volt. Um, we have six uh, 100 amp hour battle worn batteries, and those are kind of buried under the closet back in there, and then all the, the guts come out here and connect into all of our Victron stuff. Um, and then the whole purpose of having the garage under the bed was we needed a place to store all my bikes. So obviously uh, we got one bike out here now, but we made a pull out drawer system and this is all of our other bikes. So I have a dirt jumper, a mountain bike uh, for riding trails, and then this green one is Billy's gravel bike. So on this side of the garage, we have extra storage for bikes, tires, tubes, tools, whatever along with extra uh, power. We've got a quick disconnect water supply, uh, lights, air compressor, and then a quick disconnect for the air compressor. Uh, and then in the back of the garage, we have extra storage for uh, clothes, winter stuff, um, backpacking items, sleeping bags, things like that. So under here, we have our propane storage. Uh, this access hatch lets us fill, and it's a 30 gallon tank. Usually, I don't, we've never filled it all the way up. We usually top it off every four or five months and it's like half of fill. So for some reason, propane's been really efficient on this bus, I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. So one of the big challenges with our build was we carry a 600 pound adventure bike around with us. So we needed to figure out a way to support all that weight behind the bus. And we ended up integrating into the bus frame uh, this extension where we build a deck, the bike comes up here with ramps, and so far so good. It hadn't fallen off. Uh, ladder that goes to the roof, our mini split, we built this custom uh, rack for here, and uh, that's pretty much the back. Pros is pretty cool because whenever I travel, the thing I miss most is my bed, and now my bed goes everywhere with us. That's pretty cool. We've pulled up on some trailheads and been able to shower, have a feast right after a huge uh, hike, and then take a nap, sleep. Yeah. Kind of thing. I'd say one of the one of the cons is having to worry about finding water. Uh, that's probably the biggest challenge for us on the road. 
Um, we have 80 gallons, so we can usually stay out for two weeks before we need to fill. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's been a been a challenge in some spots. It's a little harder than you would imagine to find a good place to go hook up and fill with water. Yeah. And it's always stressful too. Um, you have in your mind of where you're going to park, you do your research, and you're still going to run into issues. So there's a little bit of him sitting, driving with a loud engine yelling at me like, this isn't going to work. Where are we going to park? And I'm on my phone like, I don't know. I'm trying to find somewhere. Con, front engine bus. Oh, yeah. Pro, rear engine bus. Yeah. You drive shirtless all the time. It's get, hot up there. You get hot. And loud. Listen. Pro, all the BLM, um, public lands, friends' backyard. Like, you can live wherever you want. Yeah. And we tend to pick pretty cool spots to live. Mm -hmm. So, you know, while we might not have a house that we live in every day, like our house goes with us and we get to live on lakes, we get to live mm -hmm. in the mountains, we get to live at the beach, we get to live in the desert. It's kind of whatever we feel like. And yeah. that's pretty cool. That's awesome. I like that. And it's like next to no cost too. So we get to live in these dream areas for just how much it costs for gas to get there and groceries to eat while we're there. Appreciate you guys stopping by the tour of Topo Bus. Uh, really hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you out there someday. Yep. Uh, we are on Instagram as at Topo Bus. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry.